Hello foodies, welcome back to Yummy Cafe with Ash. Today we are making an extremely, extremely delicious street food of Gujarat which is called Tabeli. So let's see what ingredients we required. As you can see, I have a lot of things. First of all, we need some pow bread for the Tabeli. And we need some boiled potato. Two boiled potato will be enough. We need some butter. And we need some chili garlic chutney for this you need to just take two three big red chilies whole soak them in the hot water and then remove the water later and grind them with the 10 to 12 cloves of garlic and little bit salt and grind nicely that's it that's how we make this red chili garlic chutney or you can take the ready ones from the market we need little bit pomegranate seeds little bit onion chopped and also we need tamarind sauce as I told you before also tamarind sauce you take 50 grams of tamarind and 5 6 uh, khajur or dates deseeded and uh, then just soak them in the hot water then grind them and uh, your chutney will be ready with little bit of uh, dry ginger powder and black salt also you can add into this and we need some pomegranate seeds little bit of green chutney this is optional if you want you can use the fresh dhania also and we need masala peanuts about two tablespoon little bit of barik or nylon save we need little bit of uh, coconut it is uh, just grated simply dry or fresh any coconut you can take and most important thing we need dabeli masala if you find in the market it's very easy to find dabeli masala but i will tell you how to make it we just take two tablespoons of whole coriander and two big green chilies, uh, red chilies, or you can take the chili flakes, two tablespoons, and four or five cloves, and one big piece of cinnamon stick. Just put them in the small jar of mixer together and grind them. That's how we make tabeli masala. Tabeli masala, masala is the most important thing. It has more uh, cinnamon flavor in this you can add some more cinnamon to this and just grind it so friends now as you can see after grinding it only for one or one and a half minute our dabeli masala is ready it's very fresh and fragrance is absolutely divine now we'll take a pan on the gas and we'll he heat some oil about two teaspoons and uh, what we need to do is We'll take our boiled potato and mash them or crush them very nicely. So I crushed it very nicely. Now my oil is hot in the pan. First of all, we'll add one pinch of hing or a sapotida into the pan. And you add one or two tablespoon maximum of your dabili masala into this. And immediately add boiled potatoes. Mash as well and give it a good mix. We just need to do this quickly, otherwise masala will burn. Now into this, you can add either little bit of tamarind pulp or amchur and little bit of water. So I'll add one tablespoon of amchur in this to make it tangy and sour. And also you can add little bit of sugar if you want, but uh, I prefer it more spicy. Now I'm going to add half cup of water into this. and let it be boiled for a minute then our masala will be ready just the water should be evaporated and masala should be soft and like a spread the consistency should be now in this i'll add little bit of salt according to taste i'm adding here one teaspoon that's enough if you want more you can add little more Now, if you don't have masala peanuts for this recipe, you can simply take some roasted peanuts and add some salt and dabeli masala to the peanuts. It will be like spicy peanuts what I'm using. Masala peanuts will be ready. So you can use the masa dabeli masala for both. Now, as you can see, it's been thick. The consistency water is almost gone. 
we will uh, just wait for one minute more and keep it for cool down so this mashed potato filling is ready we'll transfer it into a plate to cool down now this masala is still hot let it be cooled down by the time we'll put some masala peanuts on the top and uh, also we need to put little bit of grated coconut and some dhania or green chutney you can add to this fresh coriander leaves or green chutney is the same thingy so you can add anything to this and let it be cooled down little more and also add some pomegranate seeds if you have fresh ones and little bit of barik nylon save now this filling will goes into the pow so as you can see i have my pow or bread ready we will just cut it from the middle like this and we'll keep our tawa also ready and put some butter on it and make this pow roasted with the butter from both the sides like this you don't need to add too much butter if you like if you wish you can and uh, in middle part we will add the masala dabili masala which we made ready already we will put it inside and dabili will be ready to eat so in this pow from the middle we will add little bit of chili garlic chutney little very little and then sweet chutney on both sides you can apply if you wish and little bit of green chutney also i am adding for that taste which we need and now the potato masala which we prepared already we'll put it inside nicely and little bit of more nylon safe our dabeli is absolutely ready to be served we can put little bit of barik or nylon safe from the sides it looks beautiful and dabeli is ready to be served enjoy this hot hot dabeli if you like my recipe please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel yummy cafe with dash see you next time take care